Hello, this video is in response to the video, A Devastating Verse for Jehovah's Witnesses. First off, I'd like to say that there are nearly 8,000 verses in the Bible. And to seize upon one verse and declare it to be the end of the discussion is a little bit simple-minded, I believe. But millions of people do that. I think the most common verse seized upon is John 1.1, 1, 1, you know, it, it says there, Jesus is God. And I believe it. That's the end of it. So, you can't really reason with people like that. But if we are not intent on deceiving ourselves and others, then we'll look at the entire Bible and try to discern its real meaning and not look at face appearances and run off with you know the common popular belief. This controversy of who Jesus is has been going on nearly since the time of the Apostles. Because shortly after they died and their stalwart influence was gone, gradually Satan began to introduce this idea that Jesus was not just the Son of God, but that he was of the same substance and nature of God, that he was God himself. And that controversy continued up until about the 4th century. And that's when Emperor Constantine called all these arguing bishops to Nicaea, which is somewhere in modern Turkey now, and they were going to get this sorted out, you know, because uh, Constantine wanted to make Christianity the state religion, whereas the Roman emperors had actually put Jesus to death, and uh, who knows how many other Christians were martyred in the Colosseum and elsewhere, but now the emperor of Rome was going to insert himself into Christian theology, and after a couple of months of wrangling, the emperor came down on the side of those who said that Jesus was of the same substance as God, whatever that means. But we know what they intended. And then in the ensuing centuries, gradually the Catholic Church formed this idea of three-in-one trinity. And those who believed otherwise were shouted out or persecuted as heretics, and some of them were put to death. And then when the Bible began to be put to print, uh, those who believed that Jesus was God had the name of Jehovah removed from their Bibles. And most Bibles do not have the divine name in it to this very day. So it's made it much easier for the jokers to make people believe that Jesus is God Almighty, to the exclusion of Jehovah. The latest con game being run is that Jesus is Jehovah. Jehovah somehow he changed his name to Jesus, so that's why the name of Jehovah is not important. Very clever. But of course, it's a lie. The 22nd Psalm and the 22nd verse is words imputed to Christ Jesus. And it says that he will make the name of Jehovah known within the big congregation. And the Apostle Paul attributed those words to Christ Jesus as well in Hebrews, the second chapter, showing that he fulfilled that psalm. And, of course, Jesus, in prayer to God, said that he had made God's name manifest to the men whom Jehovah had given him. That's a prayer recorded in the 17th chapter of John. So, yes, Christians call upon the name of Jesus, but not to the exclusion of the name of Jehovah. They're two individuals. Jehovah is God. Jesus is his Son. It's pretty simple, isn't it? But it's, it's been complicated by theologians who want to push Jehovah out of the picture. Of course, it's, it's a satanic plot, and it's, we'd say it's been very successful. Interestingly, it's not going to have a happy ending, though. I can assure you of that. In the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus said that many... Many will lose out. They're on the broad road to destruction. Very few are those finding the road to life. And those Trinitarians may think, well, yeah, that's Jehovah's Witnesses and the Mormons and all those other people that don't call upon the name of Jesus. Well, no. Jesus said, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, did not we prophesy in your name and expel demons in your name and do many powerful works in your name? 
And what will be Jesus' response? Get away from me, you workers of lawlessness. I never knew you. Why didn't Jesus know them? Because they don't know him. If you believe that Jesus is God, then you do not know Jesus. And you do not know Jehovah. And consequently, they refuse to acknowledge you. Jesus worshiped Jehovah. The prophecy in Zephaniah, the third chapter, and the entire book of Zephaniah refers to the day of Jehovah. It had a minor fulfillment with the destruction of Jerusalem, but it applies to the coming of Christ and the end of this entire present system. And in that third chapter, Jehovah describes him taking action, cleaning his congregation, so that the end result may be that all may call upon the name of Jehovah, shoulder to shoulder speaking a pure language of love and truth. So, you can take the name of Jehovah out of your Bible. You can turn him into Jesus. You can't change reality. And Jehovah will have the last word. And so will Jesus.